now uh, for the final session of the day and uh, as a kind of uh, appetizer before uh, our uh, cocktail reception, I would like uh, to uh, welcome uh, on stage Mrs. Kelsey Ocasio-Christian, who is a Chief Financial Officer of uh, Celus Partners and uh, is uh, representing one of the four future IIF members and uh, Mrs. Uh, Ocasio-Christian uh, will present Celus Partners activities and in particular the very interesting initiative about the community in space. So thank you and uh, welcome. Hi, I'm Kelsey and from the introduction I am the Chief Financial Officer of Kalis Partners. So our, our objective today is, um, as mentioned, Kalis Partners has applied to become a member of the IAF. So I'd like to take a moment to introduce who we are to this group and to share a bit about what we believe we'll be able to contribute to this membership as we are all working towards the betterment and future of space. So in the discussion today, I'd like to cover three questions, or I'll answer three questions. So the first is, who is Kalis Partners? The second is, what are we working on? And the third was prefaced from the introduction, what is community in space? Um, in listening to a number of the discussions, particularly on the GNF over the last day, as well as through the different committee meetings um, over the last couple days for this entire um, session, there's a number of themes that have come up that I think that you'll see come to life in a slightly different way in terms of what it is Kalis Partners is working on. So with that, so, who is Kalis Partners? What it says up there is, Kalis Partners is a strategic consulting, financing, and investing company focused on creating value for space and space-related organizations and endeavors. So that's what we do. So what I'd actually like to talk about is who we are from a more personal perspective and introduce you to our founders. So there is something that we believe is very unique in how we approach what it is we do. And I think that will be illuminated in part by who our founders are. Our founders are a reflection of our broader team and it will highlight a couple of things as I talk through each one of us, who each one of us is. Um, many of you may have already met our CEO. Jose is the originator and the first founder of Kalis Partners. This whole idea started with him and I'll talk a bit about more about where that ultimately came from in a moment. Jose's background is that he was a military officer in the U.S. Army for over 20 years, and what he did for, our, for the U.S. Army is he was one of the most accomplished and leading military strategists and planners. Um, so what that practically means is not only did he do planning for how we were going to, the major campaigns that we were going to pursue in our military, but part of the military, military's role is to um, help communities restabilize after um, a catastrophe of, catastrophe of war, and that will become important in a moment. I'm um, also introduce you to Micah. Micah has, is a long-term veteran of the space industry. Many of you may recognize him. He was previously at the Space Foundation where he led their research team and has been a lead researcher and author of the space report that has been put out by the Space Foundation. So Micah comes with a very deep perspective and set of experiences in the space industry as a whole. And myself, I am Kelsey, as I mentioned. My background is unique from both of my other founders in that I was previously a management consultant. I advised the executives of leading pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies on two very important things. One was how to tap into new sources of growth um, on a global basis. And the second is actually related to that, is how to fundamentally transform their business. Um, if any of you are familiar with the healthcare environment, over the last 10 to 20 years, that industry has undergone a complete transformation in how it operates and in how it brings value to its end customers. So the reason I share this is because, it, as I mentioned, I want to illuminate a bit about how our approach is different. So yes, we consult and we invest but we have a very different way of doing it that is rooted in the backgrounds and where we ultimately came from. One of the themes that I also wanna highlight here in terms of who we are that I've heard repeatedly over the last couple of days is the desire for the space industry to attract and bring in the non-space actors. 
We fundamentally believe that that is critical to seeing the transformation that this industry is about to, exp about to experience. Um, we are representative of our, of our team with one exception. The three of us are Americans. Our expanding global team um, does include members from around the world as we very much view the work that we are doing to be a global effort, not just one contained to the United States. What are we working on? So the, the reason I use this picture to highlight what we're working on is because I think that this will relate to everybody in the audience. So we are working on developing space from being a roughly $330 billion industry today, which the citation there is the space report, to an, a multi-trillion dollar economy in the very near future. When you look at this, there are very few other opportunities on Earth that look like this. This is exciting. The space industry is at a point that you're about to explode in growth, and what that means is that this industry is about to transform in a fundamental and amazing way. So for Jose and I, this whole journey started with investment and risk-taking. So we first encountered space through a number of startups that were coming through angel networks that we were involved in. And they were coming through, and they were really struggling to be able to attract the attention of angel investors and to be funded. But that sparked an interest for us to really understand why, what is happening in space. And as we looked into it, this is the picture that we saw. We saw an absolutely incredible opportunity to be part of something that is going to grow rapidly over the coming years. The way that we started in space is through investment, and that is still a very much a core part of what our business is and what we do. However, as we started to really get into what we were going to invest in and how we were going to shape our thesis and started talking to companies and identifying all of the activity that was happening that was trying to drive and change space, we, we started to look for something. And that was, we went to look for where is the comprehensive plan for how space is going to be developed? Is it, is it written down anywhere of what's coming next and how we're all going, you know, what roles we're all going to play and what needs to happen before other things can happen? And we did not find it. It's not to say that it doesn't exist, but we didn't find it. And what that struck for us is this was really the generation of where the concept community in space ultimately came from. So where we're, where we're at today and what we're working on is two things. So one is investing in the future of space. The second is the community in space, which we view to be a community development plan that is necessary to really unlock the full potential of what space has to offer. So what is community in space? Um, so I'm going to read what it says, and then I'm going to describe it in a few different words. So community in space is a concept that allows stakeholders to have a common theme of reference in order to develop the requirements to sustain and improve the social, economic, and governing environment in space. So the community in space started as a concept, and I'll touch on where it came from in just a moment, but it is evolving. It is beyond a concept at this point in time. It is really more of a framework in our, in our terms or a set of principles for how we can develop space. As we have gone around the world and talked to a number of different people who are both involved in space today and very interested in exploring what space has to offer, a number of different words started to come up that people started to translate what this meant into how they could do something with it. So some of the other concepts that have come up that people have started to use is the community in space is a blueprint for developing space. It is an economic development plan for how we will develop into that that economy. Um, it is, for us, the concept has moved beyond just being a concept. It is something that we are working on both, both from a theoretical perspective as well as a practical perspective. The practical perspective is that you actually go find very specific, bounded opportunities to apply the principles and then you test them out. So think of that as it could be a technology, it could be a set of capabilities, it could be a location that is trying to figure out how to become an important part of the future of space. So that is what the community in space is. But those words have a lot of meaning. Community can mean different things to different people, space can mean different things to different people, and concept certainly means different things to different people. So what I would like to, to share with you is where the term community specifically came from. 
because this is where Jose's past experience in the military, is, we really drew on this. So in his experience, Jose was heavily involved in rebuilding communities after war. That means, think of that as the community has really been brought down to its bare bones and needs to rebuild to be a thriving environment where people can really have the most abundant and prosperous life that they can experience. So there's a framework for that. It's called the community development framework. So our term community specifically refers to our approach to how we would develop space is to think of it as building a community and everything that goes into building a community. So the framework, I won't read the framework details, but it really starts with, um, you can also relate this to Maslow's hierarchy of needs where you have to start with the most basic thing, which is in this framework, safety in the community. How do you ensure safety? P that means person, property, et cetera. To, for a people to be able to continue to work on really building towards what we're all trying to do. Have an amazing economy that is multi-trillion dollars and bringing benefit to people around the world. So this is how, this is how we viewed space. And this is, this is, we are using this framework in our business. This is how we consult. It is how we prioritize what we are doing in space. It is how we determine our investments. However, us as Kalis partners, using this framework will only go so far. What our vision is, is that this is something that we can work collaboratively with people around the world to fully build out, articulate, and expand into a variety of different dimensions. The full potential of what a community in space is will only be realized through global collaboration. And like I said, we, will use, we are using it. We have already seen immense value from applying it to the, the context of space, and we think that this will be very valuable for, for the broader industry. So with that, um, together we will build the community in space. I think that everybody in this room is already a member of the community in space. You don't have to take it literally for, for how I just defined it. But in the other definition of community, all of us in this room are working towards building space to its next phase. It is a transformation. It is, this industry is about to undergo an incredible change and we all get to be part of it. I would, re I would relate back to some of the themes from earlier in the GNF, so one is, the development of space, we do believe, is a global issue. And I saw um, captured on one of the boards outside that it appears that that is a theme that others agree with. Developing space is a global issue. It needs to be elevated to the global agenda, and it needs to be a conversation that we have holistically around the globe. Um, the other theme that, I, that is very important to us, in part because of how Jose and I, in particular, found our way into the space industry, is that in order for space to reach that level, it's an exciting time to get to talk about it with people that might not know what we're doing, to get their excitement up, and to really bring them into the broader work that is happening in space. Um, so with that, I will, I will conclude, and I am more than happy to speak with any of you about the work that I'm doing um, through Kalis Partners and um, more broadly, how we can be part of the IF community. We are very excited um, about this membership opportunity. Um, the IF has really achieved amazing things and we look forward to being part of it. My contact information is here if you'd like to contact me.